They created the Big Bang. As creators of the touchable universe, the architects were free to set the rules of their creation. They only set two rules, create and experience. This was after all, all they knew to be right and proper. The architects then divided the universe into 24 sectors and began to observe their work. They were amazed to see evolution take its course as planets were formed, stars were born and galaxies formed. They didn't influence the path of evolution they simply watched as their universe continued to grow and evolve. However, the architects weren't the only ones watching. Other beings in the nine dimensions watched with fascination as the touchable universe evolved from a simple frozen plane of existence to a complex universe. Unlike the nine dimensional planes that was mostly static, the third dimensional plane was ever changing and higher life forms found this exciting. They watched closely as the architects continued to work on the brave, new, touchable universe. Throughout the creation and development of the touchable universe, an infinite number of beings in the nine-dimensional universes watched with keen interest. They were fascinated by the new creation, and they longed to experience it. These curious beings dwelled in the higher dimensions just like the architects. But unlike the architects, they didn't just want to watch. They wanted to experience the three-dimensional reality from within. They wanted to experience touch and many other sensations that the touchable universe promised. These curious dwellers of the nine dimensions wanted to experience what it feels like to exist in the three-dimensional plane and be part of a reality evolving at a super-fast pace. They wanted a break from the monotonous stagnancy of the nine dimensions. Change in the nine dimensions was slow and gradual, but in the third dimension, everything evolved at an exciting pace. As soon as the architects completed the touchable universe, trillions of beings from all nine dimensions traveled into the touchable universe to inhabit it. They arrived as simple strings of energy and began to evolve. As the architects continued to observe their universe, they discovered a flaw in their creation. The three-dimensional universe was finite, while the beings who wanted to get into it were infinite. Eventually, the three-dimensional universe was filled up and overpopulated, and yet even more beings were trying to get in. They waited impatiently to be born into the three-dimensional universe. Meanwhile, the beings already in the touchable universe grew bored of their simple and slow evolving existence. Change was necessary. In order to fix the problems of the touchable universe, Death was created as a mechanism to allow the life forms to shed their physical bodies when they had reached the limits of their growth and experiences in a particular lifetime. By incorporating death into the cycle of life, the architects ensured that each being would have the opportunity to start anew, with a fresh perspective and an unburdened existence. Death also came with the added advantage of limiting the population of the touchable universe and ensuring that the available resources were always enough to support the various beings on their journey towards enlightenment. The next concept to be introduced to the three-dimensional universe was reincarnation. Reincarnation was introduced as a way for the life forms to continue their evolutionary journey through multiple lifetimes. By returning to a new physical form after death, they would be able to gain additional experiences and expand their consciousness by exploring diverse aspects of the third-dimensional reality. However, death and reincarnation weren't enough. To optimize the evolution process and help their creations achieve higher consciousness, the architects needed to introduce another concept. The third concept to be added to the three-dimensional universe was amnesia. Amnesia was incorporated to ensure that each new incarnation enjoyed a unique and untainted opportunity for growth. By introducing the trio of death, reincarnation, and amnesia, the architects created a reality where life forms are opportune to begin each new life without the conscious memories of their past experiences, avoiding the influence of previous successes, failures, or biases. 
This enabled life forms to approach each new life with a fresh perspective, fostering a greater capacity for learning, creating, and experiencing. This process of continuous rebirth and forgetting allowed them to grow and evolve in ways they could not have if they retained the memories of their previous lives. Through the introduction of death, reincarnation, and amnesia, the architects created a more dynamic and engaging third-dimensional universe where life forms could explore their existence and continuously evolve. This system allowed for an ongoing process of growth and expansion in line with the architect's original intention of creating a reality filled with diverse experiences and endless opportunities for exploration. As beings moved through different lifetimes, they gained a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. This iterative cycle of life, death, and rebirth allowed beings to accumulate wisdom and spiritual growth, thereby achieving higher consciousness and reconnecting with the Source. Throughout their many incarnations, beings would encounter various challenges and experiences, which would help them cultivate virtues such as empathy, compassion, and resilience. In this way, the architect's creation facilitated not just the evolution of the physical forms, but also the refinement of the souls inhabiting them. As beings progressed through their various lifetimes, they would also form connections with others, forging bonds that transcended the boundaries of a single lifetime. These relationships would help to shape each individual's unique path, as well as contribute to the collective evolution of the universe. As the life forms interacted and collaborated, they would create new civilizations, technologies, and cultures, further enriching the tapestry of the third-dimensional universe. Over time, as the beings evolved and their consciousness expanded, some would begin to recall aspects of their past lives, breaking through the veil of amnesia. These glimpses of past experiences would serve as valuable lessons, allowing individuals to integrate the wisdom and knowledge gained across multiple lifetimes. This would eventually lead to a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all life forms and the realization that they are all part of a greater whole. In essence, the architects designed a universe that fostered the exploration of the individual and collective potential of all life forms. Through the cycle of death, reincarnation, and amnesia, they ensured a dynamic and ever-changing environment that pushed beings to continuously grow and evolve. The ultimate goal was to guide each being towards the realization of their innate connection to the Source and their role in the greater cosmic dance of creation and experience. Despite the introduction of death, reincarnation, and amnesia, beings in the third-dimensional universe failed to rise to higher forms of consciousness. They continued to get entangled in the complexities and challenges of the third-dimensional universe. Recognizing this problem, the architects devised a system to help them reconnect with their higher selves and rise to the higher realms if needed. They created the chakras and the kundalini energy as keys to unlock higher states of consciousness and re-establish the connection to their spiritual origins. The chakras are energy centers within the subtle body each corresponding to a specific aspect of an individual's physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. These energy centers work in harmony to maintain balance and promote the optimal flow of vital life force energy, known as prana or chi. The architects designed the chakra system to serve as a roadmap for beings to navigate their inner landscape and develop a deeper understanding of their energetic anatomy. Kundalini, on the other hand, is a powerful and transformative form of energy that resides at the base of the spine, coiled like a serpent. This energy is considered to be the divine feminine aspect of creation, representing the creative and spiritual potential within each being. When awakened, Kundalini energy travels up the spine, activating and balancing the chakras as it ascends. The process of awakening the Kundalini energy and opening the chakras can help individuals attain higher states of consciousness, enabling them to reconnect with their true nature and higher selves. Through practices such as meditation, breathwork, and yoga, beings can learn to harness and direct this energy, facilitating spiritual growth and development. The architects designed the chakra and kundalini system 
to provide a path for beings to return to the higher realms should they become lost or overwhelmed in the third dimensional universe. By engaging with these energetic systems, individuals can access their innate spiritual wisdom, remember their divine origins, and ultimately transcend the limitations of the physical universe. In summary, the chakra and kundalini system serves as a means for beings to reconnect with their higher consciousness and access the guidance and support they need to navigate the challenges of the third dimensional reality. This system ensures that, even in the midst of the complex and ever-changing landscape of the physical universe, the beings always have a way to return to their spiritual roots and continue their journey towards self-realization and enlightenment. Finally, after eons of work, the architects believed that the touchable universe was perfect and complete. They looked upon their creation and saw that it was good. Ring.